Welcome back, everybody. He has his own show and a racing pedigree. Kyle Petty was at the Grand Ole Opry ahead of the premiere of the third season of Dinner Drive with Kyle Petty. He talked to us about TV, family, and of course, racing. Oh, wait, and did you know he's actually a musician? Take a look. I like cars and I like food, uh, but I wanted to know sentimental cars. I wanted to know a car that, um, that kind of kind of went back in time, that, that was in your heart. When I'm mentioning these cars, these are cars that you don't see on the road and you probably won't see in museums anywhere. I think our first show this year is Kyle Busch. And this year, it's Dinner Drive with Kyle Petty presented by Cheddar Scratch Kitchen. So that's a, that's a new deal for us. And uh, they sponsor Kyle Busch, and Kyle Busch has a bad butt 69 Camaro. That's right in my wheelhouse. 69, 70, 71, 72. I drove my dad's 1970 Superbird. That car stands out to me. But these were sentimental cars uh, to, to who these guys were. Kyle Busch will go down in history as probably one of, if not the greatest, one of the greatest, arguably one of the greatest drivers to ever set in a cup car. To hear their humble beginnings, how hard they fought um, in, in Las Vegas, to run at the Bull Ring out there, to run uh, in Novato and then to move east and to be able to race here. It, it was interesting. I thought the only people that really cared about racing were race car drivers and people that worked on cars. And the sport continues to change. It changed from the time my grandfather started in 1949 to the time my father started in, in 58 and I started in 79 and I had a son that came along in the late 90s that started. So it constantly evolves, it constantly changes. To be in that perspective and to, to have watched my father race when I was six or seven years old, and to be sitting here today at my age and be able to sit in a booth and watch these young guys come out and race, uh, your perspective on the sport just shifts. It's still the same sport. We start at a white line, we run 500 miles, and we end at the same white line. That's it, we don't go anywhere. I'm not even sure I went to driver's ed. I think in Randolph County, North Carolina, they just gave out license when you got to be about 16 years old and said, have at it. I've been in big races, I've been in big events, but to walk out on the stage at the Opry uh, and stand in that circle, stand in that circle where so many great artists have, have stood. It was a humbling experience, a very, very humbling experience. I'm very blessed to be able to do so many things in my life besides drive a race car. It's, it's afforded me the opportunity to go and try different things. I'm not the guys you see on this wall behind me or I'm not the people that you see as you walk the halls of the Opry. So for an amateur to have the, the opportunity to come here and do this uh, is probably one of uh, the greatest gifts that the Circle Network could give me. Uh, to allow me to do this.